Why don't scientists trust atoms? Because they make up everything. Welcome to our hilarious journey into the day in the life of a scientist. Now when we think of scientists, we usually picture stern faces peering into microscopes or scribbling complex equations on whiteboards. But being a scientist goes far beyond just lab coats and test tubes. It's a roller coaster ride of unexpected surprises, failures, and victories, all in the pursuit of knowledge and innovation. You see, science isn't always about the eureka moments. Sometimes it's about the countless hours spent pondering over a single equation or the head-scratching moments when an experiment just refuses to work as planned. But here's the twist. These very challenges are what make the journey so compelling. Imagine the thrill of finally cracking a problem you've been wrestling with for weeks, or the joy of watching your experiment unfold just as you had imagined. It's like solving the world's toughest puzzle, and the sense of achievement is truly unparalleled. Being a scientist also means you're constantly on the edge of discovery. Every day brings the possibility of stumbling upon something completely unexpected. And trust us, these surprises aren't just limited to the lab. Ever heard of a scientist discovering a new species of spider in their backyard? Well, you never know. And let's not forget about the exciting world of innovation. The beauty of being a scientist is that you're not just learning about the world, you're actively shaping it. From creating life-saving vaccines to developing sustainable technologies, scientists are at the forefront of change. But hold on, it's not all serious business. Scientists have their fair share of fun too. The joy of cooking up a storm in the lab, the thrill of space-themed costume parties, or the satisfaction of finally mastering the perfect coffee brew. Who knew science could be so entertaining? So buckle up as we dive into the exhilarating and sometimes outright hilarious world of science. Every morning a scientist wakes up and thinks, what will I discover today? Or more realistically, where did I leave my coffee mug? Now, the life of a scientist is not all about white lab coats and serious faces. It's a whirlwind of a routine that starts with a mental checklist. Did the overnight experiment explode? No, good start to the day. Then there's the anticipation of the unknown. Will today's research lead to the next big thing? Or will it be another day of scratching heads and scribbling theories? It's quite the roller coaster, but that's what makes it exciting. And of course, the day wouldn't be complete without a quick scan of the latest scientific journals. You know, just in case someone else has discovered the secret to teleportation while you were sleeping. But the real power source? That sacred cup of coffee. It's the fuel for the brain, the elixir of life, the... Wait, where did it go again? And with a gulp of lukewarm coffee, the day in the lab begins. Experiments are like relationships. They don't always go as planned. Take, for instance, the time when I was trying to create a non-toxic, biodegradable plastic. Instead, I ended up with a substance that had the consistency of mashed potatoes and smelled like old socks. Not exactly what I had in mind, but it certainly leavened up the lab for a few days. And then there was the time I attempted to create a new type of energy-efficient light bulb. The result? A bulb that flickered like a disco strobe light and made everything look like a 70s dance party. Not exactly practical, but it did make our Friday night lab sessions a lot more fun. Science, my friends, is a journey filled with unexpected twists and turns. One day you're trying to develop a cure for a common cold, and the next, you're inadvertently creating a super strain of sneezing mice. Yes, that happened. But here's the thing about science. It's not just about the destination. It's about the journey. Every failed experiment, every unexpected result, is a stepping stone towards something greater. It's like putting together a puzzle without knowing what the final picture is supposed to look like. And that's what makes it so exciting. Remember, even the greats have faced their share of failures. Thomas Edison once said, I have not failed. I've just found 10,000 ways that won't work. And he was right. Each failure brings us one step closer to success. So next time you see a scientist, remember we're not just the crazy haired lab coat wearing folks who blow things up for fun. We're explorers navigating the vast and uncharted territories of the unknown. Our failed experiments are our battle scars, badges of honor that we wear with pride. Because every oops is often closer to an eureka than we think. In the end, these happy accidents often lead to the most interesting discoveries. After all, who knows? That mashed potato-like substance could be the next big thing in sustainable living. Or at least it could make for a really interesting dinner conversation. There's nothing quite like the moment when an experiment finally works. It's like finding a parking spot at a shopping mall on a Saturday. Picture this. After countless hours staring into a microscope or crunching numbers, the puzzle pieces suddenly click into place. 
It's a rush of adrenaline, a bolt of excitement. It's a feeling akin to unearthing a hidden treasure, or perhaps even more thrilling. In the world of science, the joy of discovery isn't just about huge, earth-shattering breakthroughs. It's also about the little victories, the small steps forward, the tiny pieces of the puzzle that fit into place. It's about the eureka moment when a hypothesis proves correct, or the sweet relief when a stubborn equation finally makes sense. Imagine for a moment being the first person in the world to know something. It could be a new piece of information about how a cell functions, or a new insight into the behavior of distant galaxies. That's the thrill that drives scientists, the joy of discovery. It's not just about knowledge for its own sake, but about pushing the boundaries of what we know, about expanding human understanding. But it's not all smooth sailing. The path to discovery is often paved with failures, false starts, and frustrating dead ends. Yet these are not setbacks, but stepping stones. Each failure is a lesson learned, a clue, a guidepost on the path to discovery. And when that moment of discovery comes, it's a cause for celebration. It's like hitting a home run or scoring the winning goal in the final seconds. It's a moment of pure, unadulterated joy, a moment of triumph that makes all the hard work, all the long hours, all the struggles absolutely worth it. So remember to celebrate the small victories, the incremental progress, the tiny breakthroughs, because each one is a step forward, a step towards the unknown, a step towards the next big discovery. Because in science, every breakthrough, no matter how small, is a cause for celebration. Scientists and coffee are a match brewed in heaven, or maybe in a lab. You see, the love affair between scientists and their coffee breaks is nothing short of legendary. It's not just about the caffeine kick, although that certainly helps when you've been staring down a microscope for hours on end. No, coffee breaks are much more than that. They're a sacred ritual, a pause in the whirlwind of hypotheses and experiments. It's a chance to step back, to let the mind wander. You'd be surprised at how often these brewing breaks become brainstorming sessions. With each sip, ideas percolate, bubble over, and sometimes even spill out in a rush of eureka. And it's not just about solitary contemplation. These breaks are also a time for camaraderie, for sharing theories, and yes, for commiserating over experiments gone awry. After all, great ideas often come from casual conversations over a cup of coffee. As the day winds down, scientists often find themselves wondering where the time went, and more importantly, where their pen disappeared to. It's a bit of an ongoing mystery in the world of science. Pens, much like elusive particles, have a way of vanishing when you need them the most. Just as a scientist's day is filled with hypotheses, experiments, and results, it also involves a fair bit of paperwork. Wrapping up the day often means jotting down observations, making notes for tomorrow, and of course trying to decipher the chicken scratch that was supposed to be a detailed record of the day's work. There's also the task of checking on the lingering experiments. You know, the ones that need a little more time, a little more heat, or just a little more coaxing to yield results. These are the experiments that keep scientists on their toes and occasionally awake at night. Because in science, you never really know when a breakthrough might occur. It could be in the midst of the morning chaos, during the afternoon coffee break, or in the quiet of the night when everything else has wound down. Planning for the next day is a bit like trying to predict the weather. You can look at all the data, make all the right assumptions, but at the end of the day, you're at the mercy of the scientific gods. Will the experiment work as planned? Will the results be as expected? Or will it all go up in a puff of smoke quite literally? The life of a scientist is never predictable, but it's filled with curiosity, excitement, and the thrill of discovery. And as the sun sets and the lab lights dim, there's a sense of satisfaction in knowing that you've pushed the boundaries of knowledge just a little bit further. And just like that, another day filled with science, surprises, and a little bit of chaos comes to an end. But before we wrap up, here's a little scientist humor for you. Why was the math book sad? Because it had too many problems, just like our scientists, right? But remember, in the world of science, every problem is just a stepping stone to a new discovery. So keep experimenting, keep discovering, and most importantly, keep laughing. Because science is not just about serious work, it's also about having fun along the way. As we conclude, let's take a moment to appreciate the unexpected surprises that come with being a scientist. You see, it's not all white coats and serious faces. There's plenty of laughter, excitement, and unexpected surprises. From the quest for the perfect equation, 
the thrill of a breakthrough to the simplicity of a morning routine, the joy of being a scientist is immeasurable. Then there are the unexpected experiments, the sweet smell of failure, the exhilarating scent of success, and the joy of discovery. Each of these moments adds a unique flavor to the scientific journey. And let's not forget the love for coffee breaks. These are not just moments of respite from the lab, but also a time for laughter, exchange of ideas, and a precious moment of solitude with a cup of coffee. But what truly makes being a scientist hilarious and exciting are these unexpected surprises. The failed experiments that lead to surprising discoveries, the coffee spills that turn into moments of insight, the countless hours spent on a single problem that suddenly, inexplicably, gets solved over a casual conversation during lunch break. These are the moments that make science not just a profession, but a journey of endless discovery and joy. So, here's to all the scientists out there. Keep experimenting, keep discovering, and most importantly, keep laughing. Because in the world of science, every problem is not just a problem, but a stepping stone to a new discovery. As we wrap up this journey through the unexpected joys and surprises of being a scientist, we want to take a moment to thank you for joining us. If you found this content useful, insightful, or simply entertaining, please support us by giving us a like and subscribing to our channel. We are on a quest to reach 1,000 subscribers, and every single one counts. Remember, science is not just about facts and figures, it's about exploration, discovery, and the joy of learning. So, stay curious, friends. And as always, thank you for watching and supporting our channel. Until next time, keep experimenting, keep discovering, and most importantly, keep laughing. Because in the world of science, every problem is not just a problem, but a stepping stone to a new discovery. We truly value your feedback and would love to hear your thoughts on the life of a scientist. Do you agree with our take? Have you experienced similar joys and surprises in your profession? Or maybe you're considering a career in science and have questions? Please feel free to comment below. We'd love to hear from you and engage in a conversation.